Hello YouTube, thank you for choosing ThinsBoard IoT platform. In this tutorial I'll use on Prime ThinsBoard Professional Edition. However, you may use the Community Edition environment as well. It can be deployed locally or in the cloud. Or you may use the live demo instance cloud.thinsboard.io. Today we'll talk about the Claiming Devices feature. As a tenant, I'd like to pre-provision my devices via script or UI. My customers purchase devices directly from me or through the distributors. Tenant administrator can email these keys to the customer or customers to claim their devices based on the QR code or similar approach. A ThinsBoard user will be able to request a device if he knows the device name and secret key. The secret key may be provisioned in two different ways. Either reported by device, this would be the device side key, or using the server side device attribute, the server side key. Once device is claimed, the customer becomes its owner and the customer users may access device data as well as control the device. Let's take a look on device claiming using server-side key scenario. Log in to your things board under the tenant administrator. For this tutorial we have 10 devices available with the type tutorial device. Each device has a server attribute claiming allowed and the value is boolean true. In order to provide a secret key, tenant administrator has to set an attribute on the server side, claiming data with the following values, secret key and then the value of the secret key and expiration time. Note, if the secret key is an empty string, customers can claim devices only by device name. I've already pre-created assets with the type buildings. As you can see, building 1, all our devices are related to this building. We created a dashboard which visualizes two of our assets and the list of related devices to that building. Now let's create a third widget, claiming device widget. You can find it in the input widget bundle in the static tab. Configuring this widget, you can change title, label for the claiming button, show secret key input field. This option is useful if your secret key is empty string, so no secret key will be required to claim the device. With show label, you can set your own values or leave the default text on the device name and secret key field. Message settings are all about widget reaction on the value we've entered. Relation settings allow you to create relation between claimed devices to the current state entity of a dashboard. If this option is enabled, you may not create relations manually. They will be created automatically to the entity from the state. This is useful if you have multiple assets, for example building 1 and building 2 in our case, and would like to relate your claimed device to one of them. Now click Apply Change. Let's log in as a customer 1. Move to the dashboard created by tenant administrator for this customer. Here we can see two of our buildings which do not contain any device yet. Because any device doesn't belong to any customer yet. There are two input fields in a claiming device widget which are necessary to be filled. Device name and the secret key which we have received from our administrator via email or any other way. Let's try. Success. Now we can see that we have claimed the device. Now let's review the claiming using device side key option. The procedure requires a device to generate a secret key based on some trigger event. For example, once a device is booted or when some physical button is pressed. Once the secret key is generated, it's valid for a certain period of time. 
The device sends claiming information to the server which contains both the secret key and the period of validity of the key. As an administrator you have prepared 10 devices with type tutorial device. They do not have server-side attributes claiming allowed and claiming data. On tensboard.io let us open Tensboard API reference. Here we may select which protocol we are going to use – MQTT, CoAP or HTTP. In this tutorial we may proceed with MQTT API. Let's copy and paste it into the terminal. Now we may choose MQTT port and choose where to push the request. I need to copy device access token and put it into our MQTT request for the claiming. From the device manual, you may also copy the row. Let's specify a secret key as a secret and duration time in milliseconds. Pressing enter so that we have our request being pushed. It has to be done for each device for which we want claiming to be allowed. Now let's log in as customer1. Go to the dashboard which our administrator gladly created for us. Under the building 2 we can see two of our devices, device 1 and device 7 which we have already. Let's add a new device name and a secret key which we have received from our administrator via email or any other way. Try it. Success! Thank you for watching. You may also go to respective documentation on our website. Stay tuned.